up guys? So today we're being installing um, something really special today. Uh, I literally got uh, air suspension today. So I got airlift 3P. So right now we have everything set out. We got the tank, the bags, uh, the management is right here. And these are um, all my camera kit basically that I'm gonna have to need. So right here are the skinny slim double velo bags that we have for my car. And I got these off um, C2B suspension and at first they kind of took a long time on shipping but they literally sent everything out. I had like a little concern because I got 3.8 lines which I didn't like because I like you know to air out and look cool basically. So I opted for the 1.4 brake, uh, not brake line but air line right here. And then over here are the two compressors. I think, I don't know what brand they are. Valve Air 44C or some shit. And I got two, so just in case one blows out, I'll have a second one just in case we're back up. You know, you never really know. With air suspension, it's really like tedious. You have to do a lot of maintenance, which kind of sucks, but fuck it, it looks cool. What do you think, Alan? It's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. I mean, I'm gonna try it, but air suspension yeah. is cool, not gonna lie. Yes. Yeah, no, one can, no one can feel your wheels too when you get the three piece wheels when you air out. Exactly. But I got it because more like just for the cool factor. So. It wants to be an ABB, bro. Nah, bro. I just want to look cool, bro. That's pretty much Kevin it. Kevin Nguyen, bro. I ain't no Kevin. This is the Kevin Nguyen. Look at him. Look at him. I probably got a, a bug bite around my eye. I probably like a bitch. That's how the color retired today, but it's okay. And comments, comments, figuring out the line stuff, reading, yeah. the, reading the, the pamphlets and shit. And uh, we took off all the wheels. We might as well do it. Oh, do the stuff while they take off the interior, do all yeah. the camera arms and shit. So Alan's gonna try to teach me how to do this camera shit, or camera arms, toe arms. I'm gonna do one yeah. side, and then he's gonna do the other side. Yeah. I think some of the homies will probably pull through. I think William's off at 6. Right now it's it's 12, I think. I don't know. Everyone's gonna be here for the grand finale. When that shit's going down, everyone's gonna be here tomorrow. Watch. Yes, sir. They're gonna hype me the fuck up, bro. So stay tuned. Any... Right now we're actually stripping the interior so that we can run everything through the car so the lines here's what we did so to take off the seats you're gonna have to pull up or the bottom portion of the seats you're gonna have to pull up literally right here where this clip is see there and there and then calvin told me to take out the seatbelt part you have to pull and then there's gonna be a button in the back that you push and you use a pry bar tool to pull it out same thing as this one right here see and then pretty much the seats should just come right out so alan is fucked up right now how hard is he got a dt Huh? There's another one? Yeah. Man, pass it through, man. <laughs> Here. Fuck, man. Show them, show them. Alright, so what's up, YouTube? So, uh, I'm in the most uncomfortable position right now because we're on a lift. But, yeah. I'm going to show you where we wired it through from the passenger side the firewall. I don't know if you can see that. You see where that wire is going through right now? So, there's a little black grommet thing that covers that. So, water can't get in. But, if you go from... It's right behind the battery, so... It, this this line like this this place is perfect for the battery uh, battery connection to the bags and the compressors and also to run the line for the uh, for the air suspension for the or the airline for the the bags so just right over there you can see it that gum this uh, right there. just right there I just remember where I am right here you see this thing that's the spot all right let's take this damn shit. So usually people run it through the driver's side, but Calvin find a better way to run uh, the airlines and also for the compressors yeah, through the... Just the huh? Just the power and ground. Yeah. It's just way cleaner this way. Yeah, so basically people brought it on top and zip tight. It looks hella stupid, but Calvin said to run it through, I guess, the glove box, through the firewall, and up into the battery. So right now we already put in the camera arm, which is right here. See that right there? So there's gonna be two nuts on each side there and there and then there should be just one bolt right here you gotta unscrew and then there's your camera arm and then we're gonna put in also the toe arm here this one right there so just repeat the process you know take it out put it back in should be pretty easy so we finished two bags right now and then we're gonna take a break and then eat pretty much so we got wing stop so catch you guys a little bit yeah put this on my story man we busting bro Oh shit! Hello, Tony, man. Hello, food, no, bro. Sir. So I just wanted to you know, try my friends out because you know, they helped me to process and shit, and I really appreciate them. So get, get some lit friends. Watch this, watch this shit. Watch this shit. Damn! 
<laughs> All right, so right now we're getting rid of the upper control arm in the front right here. So right now it's zip tied. So we basically took out the bolts and it's gonna be hanging right now. We have Stanley over here doing the front. Oh, you good? That's good. Yeah, you're so cute, I'll give you a kiss right now. <laughs> go ahead. No mask, though. Go ahead. You go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> nah. IS got right here. Nah. <laughs> See that IS right there? Yeah, it's right here. Is that supposed to be so today we're here with two photos, the legendary uh, <laughs> God himself, so, showing us how to do work. So what you want to do is basically you want to flip the ball joint, right? So what you want to do is you want to push the knuckle in as much as you can. And that's going to give you more camber, right? So the stock one, or the stock Megan Armour, this is the wrong side, but I'm going to show you, just to show you. So originally it's like this, right? This is stock, okay? Stock. So it doesn't go in all the way, right? Because you, you can see the ball joint in the middle. Mm -hmm. But you flip it, the ball joint allows you to go all the way in like here, right? Mm -hmm. So, technically speaking, it allows you to bring the knuckle in more. Right. Yeah. So you right. get that camera. Yeah. So originally it would be like this. But then, since you could bring the top in more, with that, you need more camera. That's why you flip the ball joint. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, all you IS guys, listen to this guy. <laughs> listen to this guy, well, bro. Listen to me. I learned, I learned yeah. from the best people. <laughs> Shit. You already know. What's up everybody? We almost done with the bags, so uh, we just got all the shocks and with the bags converted. Let me show you what's up. Ooh. Yeah, we got all, all four of them done. We, we just need to put the wheels in. And then right now, we have all the things to plug in, so we're just gonna leave everything loose in the trunk. Plug everything in, and then make sure it works, and we're gonna, we might, tonight we might give you a, a sneak peek of how it airs, airs down, but I think the uh, C2B, the, the way they, they set it up, you can't really air down that much, so, you know, I slammed the rear, cause fuck it. And I, I gave this motherfucker like, seven degrees of camber. So we'll see how it looks. This shit's gonna be slammed in the rear. The front is gonna be all right. He still gotta turn and shit, so he don't, so he don't rub. But yeah, we're gonna speed through this right now, and we're gonna make sure everything's connected. Stay tuned, y'all. Yo, yo, Chin, yo, Chin, how you my how you? All right. Just uh, this looks like a half. I don't look a half though. Like a three ace. It's threaded in there. Twist yeah. it like a like a bolt. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was like that. Yeah, a... you hey, you need uh, you need Teflon, dude. That's what he sure. has. It. He has Do it right have there. Him? Yeah, get some Teflon. All right, Calvin's finished all the terminal wiring for the battery. Like just like that, and those uh, three Hoonigans back there did nothing. And it's going. Is it going to be a mess in the car? But uh, we don't. It doesn't matter right now. We're gonna plug everything in where it belongs and then we're just gonna test test if it works. Alright, you two. Since your boy Tony is fucking lazy, I'm gonna do all this wire in here for him, alright? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I got all this wire, I'm gonna sort it out, figure out what needs to go to the rear right here, and then what needs to stay in the front, and then we're just gonna leave it a little sloppy for now, and then we're gonna plug everything in, make sure that electronics work. And then route the lines, give it a little bit of extra space just in case we need to move it around or something. And we gonna test the bags today. Let's get it. Uh, splicing it real quick so you can uh, connect it to the wire harness ground. I'm uh, struggling there, man. I know. There we go. Get that connected to the ground. You might as well cut this one too. You gotta connect both of them into the same thing, right? No, no, two wire harnesses. This, there's two wiring harness for this shit? Yeah, one, this is one and that's the other one. Tough. Fuck. Alright, well. Alright, so so guys, so right now I am very sad because the fucking bags are 3 8 fittings when I should have got 1 4 fittings. So right now we can't really finish the bags. We were almost done. We routed the management, had everything ready to go. The tanks, the compressors. And right now we're just test fitting the wheel just to see what it looks like because we put on the camera arms. And I'm kind of sad, but it's okay. Who cares? So right now, this is around like what? Five degrees camber? Six? So yeah, we're just test fitting it to see what it would look like. And the bags are on. We're just gonna put it all the way out. See what it looks like. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still good. It's not jacking up. I think it's jacking up a little bit. No, it's like very little. Oh! Turn to the lip, Kimmy. This is going up a little bit. Nice, okay. Oh, no, you're, you're, good. Good. you're so good. No fucking way, bro. <laughs> I think you go all the way. Yo, what the way? Holy shit. 
Oh, Hello, Camber. You want to check the inside? You know what they say. Oh, we ain't tucking, we ain't fucking, right, William? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy oh, yeah, no, no, shit. It's, it's lifting the car up a little. Try it again one more time. Yeah. No, it's going to more. like this. Do I do it like one more bump? Okay, wait. Yeah, right there, right there. Well, you're definitely going to tuck for sure. Yeah. It's, it's like, wait, wait, wait. Do you, it like. You're not going to hit the Is, is there contact still? No. Nah. Is lifting up a little bit? Oh yeah, it's lifted up a little it's, bit. It's just like this. Take a picture like this. No, it's not even like this. Oh, yeah. Let me get a picture of this shit. Hold on, bro. Oh, yeah, that's pretty He's good. not gonna hit anything. You can feel it, bro. Yeah. You feel it? Yeah. Hey, don't put your finger in there. I have literally at least six degrees of camber. So right now, I'm gonna get probably ten and a half in the rears, and then I'll probably keep nine and a half in the front. But you can definitely tell there's camber. Like, look at this shit. Tiny ass wheels, bruh. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna make sure to go ten and a half in the rears. The front is still gonna be the same. See? Holy fuck. This is not even aired out, this is still up in the air. So I'll probably update you guys after we cut the wood for the trunk. So I'm probably gonna put this under, see? Under the carpet I have in the trunk. And then we're gonna mount compressors, tank, and all that on this. All right, so sub YouTube, we're back. So right now, we have all four wheels on the car and it's fully aired out. Um, it looks pretty fucking good. Like, we're literally tucking in the fronts, the fronts and the rears. So here we wanna show you. So here's the rears tucking and here's the fronts. Holy oh, shit. You're the floor, man. She got the real shit, man. Yeah. That's okay, man. That's looks hella good, though. But I will never be on, on Stanley's level, but look at his shit, though. Holy shit. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. So guys, so we just finished the install for the bags and here we have the remote control. And let me show you what it does. So this, if you double click it, it goes air all the way up. Right here is my right height. And here's all the way uh, aired out. Uh, so let me go outside and give you a little look about how the car looks right now. Let's give you a little peek. So, let's do it right. All right, so here we have the car aired all the way out. And holy shit. I'm happy the way the car turned out. And my trunk setup is kind of weird. Um, I still have hella shit from that install day. I, have, I haven't had time to get rid of all my shit. So we have all the, you know, the camera arms and all the two arms. We have the tank. All my, you know, dirty shit, don't worry about that. I'll clean it, make it look nice. For the lines, I'm probably gonna leave it like this because I don't really care too much. But for the compressors, I kind of wish I put them, you know, flat sideways and then push the tank back. But I think the tank was a little too big. So it's okay. But we'll just leave it like this for now, you know, do minor adjustments here and there. That's pretty much it for the video. Also, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you for over 100 subscribers. It means a lot to me. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe for more. Peace.